This video is about how to measure the soil moisture using global navigation satellite systems. But you may ask, why is soil moisture important for us? Soil moisture is key to understanding the flow of water and energy between the surface of the Earth and the atmosphere. The excess of water leads to floods with large economic losses, while water deficit leads to drought, weakening the plants and decreasing crop yield. Let's dig deeper into soil and its moisture content. The soils on our planet are mixtures of inorganic and organic particles. The inorganic particles are minerals such as sand, silt and clay. The organic ones are a result of plant decomposition and are rich in bacteria, microorganisms as well as underground animal species. Soil moisture is the liquid water that is held in the space between the soil particles. The upper 10 cm of the soil is the most porous layer where water can easily be respirated. And now we approach the big question, how to measure soil moisture? The oldest method to measure soil moisture is direct. Firstly, you have to extract a soil sample and measure its weight. Then the soil sample is dried in a special oven over a few hours. During the drying, the soil moisture is evaporated. The weight of the dried sample is measured again. Thus, by subtracting the weight of the original and the dried samples, the soil moisture is obtained. This is the gravimetric method and for many years this was the only way to measure soil moisture. With the development of the global navigation satellite systems, scientists noticed some errors and delays in the receivers. We have previously discussed in our videos the effect on GNSS communication caused by the ionosphere and the water vapor in the troposphere. But some of the signals get reflected from the ground below the antenna and are detected. It turns out that those could be used to measure soil moisture as the signature of the signal is altered. These signal alterations are caused by the longer travel distance for the signal when it gets reflected from the ground. Using some clever processing, we can derive the soil moisture from the top 1 cm soil layer below the GNSS receiver. In addition, the reflected signal also varies with the snow cover and vegetation. So this is how we can measure soil moisture using the global navigation satellite systems. This video was created as a collaboration between Sofia University GNSS Meteorology Group and Professor Christina Larsen from the University of Colorado Boulder. We want to express our gratitude to the Maria Curie Alumni Association for the recognition of our work. Thank you very much for watching.